at this problem. grams of iron react with 24 grams of sulfur to produce iron sulfide, what would be FES, what would be the limiting reagent? How many grams of excess reagent would be left at the end of the reaction? So try writing something down, and if uh, it comes out wrong, we'll fix it. Good. You got it? That's right. 
Did you get an answer to the question yet? Yeah, I did. What's your answer? 16.5 grams of salt. Uh, okay. Uh, Something wrong, yeah. Something's right and something's wrong. Okay. All right. Mostly right, but uh, the test is unforgiving. You've got to get everything right to get the right answer. OK, well, both of you got off to the right start. Now, again, our strategy to find the limiting reagent is to figure out how much product we can get from one starting material and compare it to how much product we can get from the other. And we've talked about now we have options. We could figure out how many moles of product we're going to get, or we could figure out how many grams of product we're going to get. Now, what was this question asking us for? And what else? Um, the excess. excess reagent in grams. Yeah. Notice that they never asked us how much product was going to be produced. So we're never going to need to know how many grams of product is being produced. So we might as well stop these conversions right here. So I think at this point you went on to figure out the molar mass of the iron sulfide, right? What was the molar mass of the iron sulfide? It would be 56 plus 32 or 88. But that starts making your calculations much more difficult, and we don't need that because the question never asked us for how, how much mass we're going to be producing. Now, this is very relevant to the test. Um, you have to be, stay, uh, notice how I keep asking, what's the question asking? Because that's what you have to ask yourself during the test. It's easy to waste time figuring out stuff that the question isn't asking us for. In this case, we don't need to know the mass and grams of the product because they're not asking us for that. Um, okay, in fact, in this case, since they're just asking us to compare the two reagents, there are other ways to find the limiting reagent that would be faster than this if we just compare the two to each other. But let's stick with this. This is the simplest approach. So we'll stick with this approach, but let's stop with the moles. So based on our molar approach, um, who is the limiting reagent? Uh, the uh, iron. Yeah. Did I write down something wrong here? Uh, oh, yeah, we got 28 grams, not 2 grams. So we're producing, 28 goes in 56 twice. So we're producing 0.5 moles of iron sulfide. But how much would we produce here? Um, 0.75, right? Yeah. Doesn't even matter. You don't have to do the calculations. As soon as you see this is bigger than 0.5, yeah. you can cross this out. Yeah. As soon as we see this is going to be more than a half, 24 is more than a half of 32. So um, we're going to run out of iron before we run out of sulfur. So we can cross off this approach. And this gives us the limiting reagent. OK. Um, so that's the answer to the first question. What's the limiting reagent? Uh, so what is the limiting reagent? Iron. The iron. OK. 